Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to explore how you can use Copilot in Excel to write formulas. Now Copilot is available in Microsoft 365 but does require another license. There is a link in the description of this video with information of how to handle that. But let's focus on what it can do for us. Now I'm using Excel online in this video and on the end of the ribbon I can see the co-pilot button. I'm using Excel online because we can, but I want to let you know that you can also find Copilot in the desktop version of Excel in the same place. Here it is on the end of the home tab next to the analyze data button. Right, let's get on and write some formulas. So Copilot is improving at a rapid rate at the moment, and it's very good at writing calculated column formulas. And we're going to look at various examples in this video. Now looking at this data set, if I click within the range, and on the end of the home tab, click the Copilot button. This will open the Copilot on the right, and you can see straight away that it is in a preview mode still. So developments are still coming. We can also see at the bottom that it requests that the data is in an Excel table. Now, those of you who subscribe and follow me closely will know that I love Excel tables. So unusual that this is not one already, but I wanted to showcase that it's a necessity. It's also a necessity that your spreadsheet is set to autosave to OneDrive or SharePoint. Being that I'm in Excel online, that's a thing. If you're in the desktop version of Excel, it will request you to turn on autosave if it's not already. Okay, let's make this table. So I'll click on insert and table. Yep, let's confirm that information. On table design, I'll really quickly turn off any of those styles because I'm very happy with mine and I'll give it the name of TBL data. So now I've got a table and over in that Copilot pane, it has come alive with options. And the very first option there is what we are here for and for me is the most impressive part of Copilot at the moment, the ability to create formula columns. But we can also use it to highlight data, to sort and filter, and to understand our data better. Let's look at these formulas though. Let's start by maybe asking it for a suggestion. Because I can see at the bottom there is an option to show a suggestion for a formula column. I'll click on show a suggestion, and let's see what it comes up with on its own from looking at this data. Okay, so this is what it's come up with. It's come up with a formula to find the difference between this week and last week. Now that sounds like a very good option. If this was your data set and you had columns with those names, you'd expect that's kind of the sort of calculation you'll be interested in. Now something that is really good here is that there's an option to copy that formula. There's an option to insert the column right now and also an option for an explanation. There's even an insight to the results. So, so good. Remember when you're using AI tools, or even outside of AI, if you're Googling for results and looking at forum entries, don't just blindly do what people tell you to do. Always investigate that bit more and check those results. Now let me click on show explanation, and here's the, an explanation of how that formula works. Now we're going to click on insert column, and there we go. We've got our new calculated column, thanks to Copilot. And I've got the option to show a suggestion for another formula column. But let's ask for our own one this time. So you can see I've asked it to create a formula to calculate the percentage difference between this week and last week, as opposed to the value difference which they produced. I'll send this in, and here we go. We have our formula with the explanation, the copy and the insert column button. So let's insert this one straight in. 
Let's do a couple more and then we'll look at some of the more advanced formulas that Copilot can do. So I'm asking it to create a formula to convert the data in the name column to proper case and remove any excess spaces. Now obviously our prompts are gold here and you may not use the same terms as me and these AI tools are improving fast at understanding you know, spelling mistakes, typos, synonyms, and different types of language. But sometimes it may take more than one effort to get the result you need. This one, let's see what we get. Absolutely fantastic. We have the proper and trim functions handling that data. Let's insert it. So another brilliant result there from Copilot, happily cleaning up that name column. Let's do one more example here and we'll see Copilot write a lookup formula. This last one will be to extract the characters between the slashes in the reference column. We can see that they are irregular strings in respect of their length and also how many characters in each element. But there is consistency with the delimiter. So, Asking it here to create a formula to extract the characters between the slashes in the reference column. I'll send this in. And here we go, a lovely combination of text after and text before. Exactly the approach I would have personally taken as well. And I can insert that column. And for this sheet, our job is done. Copilot's produced the formulas I was hoping for the extraction of those characters, the cleaning of the name, and then that comparison between this week and last week. But all of these formulas so far have been within the same table. So we're now going to see a couple of examples of Copilot writing formulas using data from an external table. We'll see a lookup formula, and we'll also see it aggregating data based on a condition. So in this example, I have a table named TBL countries, and one of the columns is the country name. And on another sheet, I have a table named TBL codes, and that also has the name of a country, and it also has the country code. Now the reason that's important is because our goal is to add a formula column to TBL countries, which has the code for each country. We need a lookup formula for this. Can Copilot produce it? So I've added the prompt, create a formula to return the code from the TBL codes table for each country in this table. And just look at the results here. It produces the X lookup function. How easy was that? So it's important that you work with Copilot with this. And I gave it the table and column names that it needed, you know, clear and precise instructions. And as a result, I got a perfect result. I can insert this column to the table and our work is done. Now, unfortunately, I don't have that column now separating it from my other table. So let me just manually move that over. That's a, a frustration, but I guess a minor one. And we will proceed to our final example, which is that now in this table, which is named TBL totals, I want to sum the unit sold from TBL countries for each country code. So my question, my prompt is very clear, create a formula to sum the unit sold for each country code in this table. Once again, a great answer here, the sum if function being offered, and you can see in the preview of results that this is great. So with that formula added, that concludes six formula examples that Copilot has written for us. Four of them to perform 
data manipulation and maths formulas, and then another two to work with external tables for typical tasks such as lookups and functions like sum ifs, count ifs. What do you think of Copilot? I think it's progressing very well. If you liked this video, please hit that thumbs up button and why not subscribe to be notified about the latest videos coming out at this channel. Take care everybody and I'll see you again soon.